2014 was the planet's warmest year on record. Now, one year doesn't make a trend, but this does. 14 of the 15 warmest years on record have all fallen in the first 15 years of this century. I've heard some folks try to dodge the evidence by saying they're not scientists, that we don't have enough information to act. Well, I'm not a scientist either. But you know what? I know a lot of really good scientists at NASA and at NOAA and at our major universities. And the best scientists in the world are all telling us that our activities are changing the climate. And if we don't act forcefully, we'll continue to see rising oceans, longer, hotter heat waves, dangerous droughts and floods, and massive disruptions that can trigger greater migration and conflict and hunger around the globe. The Pentagon says that climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. We should act like it. This is the shuttle's fuel tank. It may only be 130 miles to space, but to cover that distance, the engines will use half a million gallons of fuel. And that works out at two feet to the gallon. Despite the cost, however, NASA does need to test these engines once in a while. So they built this place in the wetlands of Mississippi. The first thing they installed was a huge loudspeaker, through which they played white noise to simulate the sound of a rocket. They then sent a number of trucks in different directions out into the wilderness, and the drivers were ordered to stop when the noise levels became acceptable. This gave them an imaginary boundary line, and anyone living on the inside of it was offered a simple choice. Stay, and you'll never hear another television program as long as you live. Or take the NASA shilling and get out. No one stayed, and NASA ended up with exactly what it wanted. 125,000 acres of nothing. They even had to move five cemeteries, because the noise they were planning on making would wake the dead. Uh, don't worry if you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And, as it turns out, the cleanest. Now, the most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapour. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you, it's raining, <laughs> that's unbelievable, oh, 